Hi guys, my name is Courtney Bosser. Today I'm interviewing Alex Frizzle for Wall TV. Alex is qualified to represent our campus as well as Canada in the Red Bull Crashed Ice Connect Championships in Quebec City this weekend. So Alex, how long have you been at Canadore and Ipsing? Well, I took my first two years at Canadore and I took early childhood education. I took a year off and I came back for my BA in social welfare and I'm in my last year. Awesome. So how does it feel to represent Canadore and Nipsing University at the Red Bull Crash Dice Finals? Pretty cool. I'm excited. Good. Um, now, how did you feel when you found out that you had qualified to go? I was pretty surprised to be honest. You know, I'd had a couple of beer and then I just tried it and I've never actually played Xbox Connect so when I found out that I had uh, either the first or second highest score in Canada, I was pretty surprised. So not only are you representing our campus, but you are representing Canada as well. So does that make you a little bit nervous going there? Not not really, but uh, I'm taking a plane tomorrow early in the morning and that's really freaking me out. I don't like being up in the air. <laughs> so Red Bull has basically set you up large. What have they given you? for this competition? Well, they had the value of the trip and they said it was $2,500 in total that they would uh, be putting towards it. And I'm staying at uh, the Chateau Frontenac, which is like a historical landmark in Quebec City. And that's at least $400 a night. And I got three nights there. They're paying for a couple of my meals and my flight there, which is pretty expensive in itself, so. So you leave tomorrow? Yes. And when do you compete for your first time? Well, I guess the time trials are at uh, 4 p.m. tomorrow, so I get a bit of time of uh, practicing when I actually get there. So we have a criminal justice team from Nipsing University that won the trip to Crash Dice. Um, they are going to be there to support you on your second day. Do you think that will encourage you to do better, or do you think it would make you a little bit nervous, or just nice because you'll have friendly faces around? Yeah, I think it'll be great. I love all those guys. They're really good people, and uh, I'm glad they won because it'll uh, be a great cheering crowd, for sure. I think it'll uh, motivate me, for sure. Perfect. Now, since you won, have you been doing anything different in your lifestyle, or, you know, like, not smoking, or no. not drinking, or you feel that, you know, your everyday lifestyle is actually going to help you? Well, um... It's really not that physically demanding. I just gotta stand there and wave my arms around for a bit. <laughs> so basically, uh, I haven't really cut anything out of my diet or anything like that. You know, I've been practicing in the mirror a little bit. I don't have an Xbox, so that's pretty much all I have. So you said that you had a couple beers when you were competing. Now, is there a rule against not being under the influence while you do it? No, at but the I, had finals? I had been. Sp I was speaking to uh, the Red Bull rep today. That's in contact with me with all the details. And uh, she said there's going to be a lot of people there taking it seriously. I asked her if I could actually bring beer to the event, and she said, no, you can do it in your room if you want to, but a lot of people are going to be taking it seriously. I am not going to. Oh, so you're just there for the experience, fun, oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Cause... I mean, I'm going to try, but I'm also going to be drinking beer. Okay, perfect. All right, Alex, thank you for joining us today. Um, from Canador, Nipissing, The Wall, everybody here at the Student Center, we wish you good luck and hope you uh, represent Canada and you do us proud. Thanks a lot. Is there anything that you'd like to say to your fans? I just want to tell you guys out there, follow your dreams. <laughs>